Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? Hello everyone and welcome to another Used Tech Hustle video. In this one we've got something a little bit different for the channel in the form of a £50 budget build set up between myself and a few of the smaller YouTubers who frequent the Tech Discord servers. As well as myself you've got one of my friends MCG Tech and Epic Tech and of course where possible I've linked their videos in the description so you maybe should check them out. Now in this particular challenge the idea as I'm sure you can imagine was to build the very best PC you could possibly scrape together for £50 or $66 for those over the pond. Um, there were a few things you should be aware of, we were allowed to use a case that we had at our disposal so if we already had something here we could use that and the PSU, uh, given the very low budget a PSU that you can maybe pick up for a fiver is probably not very reliable so that was something we were all allowed to pick from our own supplies if we had one ready. Now in my personal build I was able to manage to scrape together a FX4100 system based on an ASRock 990FX motherboard. Uh, it was sold to me as faulty however it worked completely fine so I thought why not. To top this off I've got a very tasty GTX 760 with 2GB model that I scored for £24 including postage and finally we've got some sticks of RAM from CEX which come in around about £4. All in all, a pretty good deal for next to no money, but yeah, have a look and see what I was able to do. Hey guys, right, and this is going to be my £50 PC challenge. Uh, I did always want to use my uh, case here with the cracked window, uh, but unfortunately the motherboard I'm now going to go with simply won't fit. My plan up until this point was to take out the components from one of these Lenovo's, however, this puppy arrived recently with the chip and everything all on there and it's a lot more powerful than one of those it's just like a G650 and yeah I'm gonna go with that the plan is to put it in that case with this power supply a GTX 760 and just some cheesy hard drive and uh, well yeah let's see exactly how much we can get for 50 quid not a much I imagine but should be fun finding out let's build Okay, initial moment of truth. I've got it all wired up and everything with the USB in the back ready to kick in if uh, it does work so I can get Windows on there. But uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Ugh. I don't know how well that's being picked up on the. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I've not put the uh, RAM in correctly. I'll check that now. But yeah, that PSU is noisy. It works, but it's noisy. But uh, yeah, let me see what that is. Alright, I reseated the RAM in the other two slots because I couldn't really be asked doing much more debugging than that. And uh, yeah, it kicked in without the beeps, however I wasn't getting any video output. However, a quick clear of the CMOS and yeah, it's all kicked in. So uh, yeah, I suppose it's time now to get Windows installed on this puppy and we can start seeing high benchmarks. 
For benchmarks in this challenge we're going to be running a few simple synthetic tests and a couple of games. Uh, this isn't going to be my usual fare of uh, quite a few games, we're going to actually save that for another video, mainly because I want to check out the CPU a bit more thoroughly than what this £50 budget will give me. But anyway, after a brief period of installing Windows and getting all the drivers and things set up, I decided to run Geekbench first. And as you can see, I got a reasonably respectable score of 55904. Not too bad. Next up, I decided to give the old Cinebench R15 a go, running the OpenGL test. Now this isn't usually taxing, but it does give us a good idea of what this card can perform like. And as you can see, I got a very respectable 65 frames a second. Then going into the CPU score, this one I really wasn't holding much breath out on, especially as this wasn't overclocked in any way and, uh, well, as you heard in the intro, the cooler isn't exactly the best, so this thing is kind of screaming under load. But yep, yeah, as you can see, on completion, not a bad score, at least when you consider the budget, coming in at 268. I would say with overclocking obviously you can expect this to be increased a little, but we're just running things as best we can for the budget, so yeah, I couldn't really ask for more. Next up we've got the Unigen Heaven benchmark, I should point out, as you can see on screen, we're running these at a resolution of 1600 by 900 This is mainly to give the other machines a chance, as we don't really know what anyone else is going to be able to do in this challenge, so we don't want to make sure we melt their computers. Anyway, as you can see on low, this benchmark scored a not bad score of 3607. When we push the settings up to medium, that goes down to 2366. And on high, this drops down to 2059. Not too bad, but to be expected given the processor and the age of the GPU. Moving on to the brief gaming benchmarks for this challenge. Uh, first up, I'm going to test Apex Legends, now this is at the lowest settings mostly, uh, as you can see on screen, and um, well yeah, it didn't perform too badly as you can see. The FPS, we're looking at an average of about 49 FPS, the 1% lows are 5 and the 0.1% lows on about 2 FPS. Now I will say that this did struggle a bit more as the game went on, uh, purely because the heat of the CPU was kind of crippling things a little bit. However, I would still describe it as quite playable, if you're on a very strict budget that is. And uh, hey, it's better than what it runs like on the PS4 and original Xbox, so not bad. Moving on to CSGO, and despite my usually terrible gameplay, this one actually run very respectably, but these days that's not really a surprise, it will run on an actual potato. And uh, yeah, uh, we're seeing an average of around about 95 frames a second, with respectable 1% lows of 45 and 0.1 of 15. It didn't re seem very stuttery at all, the gameplay was quite smooth throughout at medium settings, though I wouldn't suggest to push it any higher, uh, as you might risk taking this maybe a bit slower than you'd like for a, such a competitive game. One of my favourites now, and it has, luckily has a decent benchmark provided so it was easy to test, at generally medium settings this one ran at a fairly solid 63 frames per second average with respectable 1% lows of 45 and 0.1 of 31 fps. So yeah, very playable, I bet this game is very well optimised so these kinds of figures aren't to be really that surprising. Next up we've got everyone's favourite, Grand Theft Auto V. Now I will point out you are seeing footage captured with a different setup, purely because every time I imported the footage I had here, it would co completely crash my project, so yeah, given time was a factor, I didn't really have an awful lot of choice. Now for this build, the average was 46 frames a second, with 0.1% lows of 20.6, but that did drop down to 2 frames a second for the 0.1% lows. I suspect again this is throttling due to the complete heat and noise from the CPU which you heard in the intro, so perhaps with better cooling and maybe an overclock this would be better, but again for the price, considering we're £50 all in, not to be sniffed at really. So there it is guys, that's my £50 build. What do you reckon? Do you think you could do better? Why not come and join us on the Discord servers, link in the comments, and maybe you can join in next time. Other than that guys, do check out the other competitors. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun watching what they've come up with, I know I will. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this one. If you have enjoyed it, then consider subscribing to my channel, maybe even drop a like on this. Or if you've got something you want to share, maybe pop into the comments and say hello. Either way, thanks very much again. See you in the next one.